in our third fertilizer problem here, problem number 29, it's more complicated because now we're trying to apply two fertilizers, DAP and urea, to apply two elements, nitrogen and phosphorus. And so whenever you're applying DAP, it tends to contain more phosphorus than nitrogen. So DAP usually is used to meet the phosphorus rate, but it also applies some nitrogen. So you always want to start these problems with DAP because they're going to apply some of your nitrogen and you need to know how much that is so that we can apply the rest of our needed nitrogen with urea here, our second fertilizer, which contains all the nitrogen. Uh, so as we look at this problem, uh, I'm going to show you a shorter way to do this because in the last two problems on fertilizer, you've seen how I've written everything out longhand. So I'll show you a shorter way to write this. So let's simply figure out, okay, how many pounds of DAP do we need to get 25 pounds of elemental phosphorus per acre? So that's going to be 25 pounds of elemental P we need. And I know I'm going to need to divide it by my fertilizer is 46% P because remember this is N, P, K. So 0 0.46. But remember that's actually P205. That's not just P. And I know P205 is 43.6% elemental P. So that's 0 0.436. And so order of operations here, multiply those two together. We get something around 0 0.2 and then divide 25 by that 0 0.2, and that's going to give you 124.65 pounds of DAP we need to apply. So that's half our answer, but well less than half our work. Okay, so we've applied 25 pounds of P per acre. We've done that. That part's over. Now we have to figure out how to get 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre out there. And so as we look at doing that, our first step is to figure out how much nitrogen we've already applied. So we need to go from the fertilizer to the element. In this problem right here, we went from the element to the fertilizer. So now let's reverse it for nitrogen. And so here we've applied 124.65 pounds of DAP. And I know DAP is 18% nitrogen. The nitrogen number is true. It's not an oxidized form, so we can just use 18%. So if this is 18% nitrogen, I can multiply with 0 0.18. And this is going to give me 22.44 pounds of elemental nitrogen that I've applied. Okay? So of my 100, I've already applied 22.44. So let's see how much I need to apply remaining. So I want 100. I've already applied 22.44, so I'm going to subtract that. And this is going to mean I still need to apply 77.56 pounds N per acre. All these numbers are going to be on a per acre basis. Okay, so now we can do a similar step up here again, where we go from the element to the fertilizer, except it's a little simpler. I have 77.56 pounds N. I'm now going to use urea, which is 45% nitrogen, and that number is true. I don't need to adjust it for an oxidized form. So I simply divide it by 0 0.45. And that's it. And that tells me I need 172.4, um, it looks like, pounds urea. That's on per acre basis. That should be on per acre basis as well. So there's the second part of my solution here. You need both those to get it right. So we've really done this in one, two, three, four steps for a problem like this. Step one, figure out how much DAP to apply. Step two, figure out how much nitrogen was applied with that DAP. Step three, reduce that from the amount of nitrogen remaining to be applied. Step four, figure out how much urea to apply to meet that remaining nitrogen demand. So that's how you do a more complex fertilizer prescription involving multiple fertilizers intended to meet multiple nutrient demands.